Hey, this is Renee and welcome to my own little world. It is October and that means that it's time to set up a new journal because my PVC transparent journal only holds up about three months worth of journaling. So let's create a whole new front and back cover for the last three months of this year. It's crazy how fast time is going. I already pre-cut and punched out some holes with some paper that I wanted to use for my front and back cover for the last three months of the year. And I went with this kind of plate background. And I also went online and found some pictures that I felt inspired by and cut them out. And I recently bought some new stickers and some new stationery, like different kinds of paper. And, and I believe that the paper is from Deco Time, which is a brand. And as you can see, I laid down a whole pile of different kinds of decoration. And these are also from that brand of paper. And these were things that you can like kind of punch out and they were sort of pre-cut and you have to help them out um, because they're like halfway cut. I don't know how to explain it, but I didn't have to cut these myself, thankfully, but because that would be a lot of work. But these are kind of within a Christmas or vintage Christmas and kind of wintry or autumn theme. So I thought that they would suit the vibe that I was going for for this journal cover very well and with all the pictures that I decided to look up on the internet I went with pictures of BTS, Dreamcatcher and Mamamoo because I've really been into Mamamoo lately um, and BTS and Dreamcatcher are my two ultimate k-pop groups and with these pictures that I decided to look up on the internet, I kept in mind that I wanted the theme to be kind of warm and cozy and I specifically went looking for pictures where they were wearing like cozy outfits. So warm jackets, winter jackets and just anything that kind of makes me feel warm or at least that's what I kind of try to go for or pictures that went with the color scheme that I was going for which was kind of more of a neutral tone which is not really something that I do a lot because I'm if you have seen on my channel and if you watch most of my videos you will know that I really love bright color schemes but for this journal I decided to particularly just go for kind of muted themes because I thought that that would go with the decorations that I picked out. Without even trying, I kind of steered myself in the way of going for kind of an academia theme. At least that's what it reminds me of a bit because of the books and the candle. It really has that kind of feeling. And I really wanted to use the big picture of the window as kind of a centerpiece for the whole journal cover. And here I am taking out my alphabet stamps and I decided to not use stickers or uh, do calligraphy like I always do or hand lettering. I instead used some stamps because that 
kind of suited the whole theme more in my opinion. We already have the books and kind of a school academia vibe. So uh, what better than to go for kind of a typewriter look. And I didn't use ink, but I used my Deco Time Aqua Markers to use for my stamps. And I know that my desk really looks messy <laughs> in these kind of videos. And my friend Denny, who also has a YouTube channel, and I've talked about him on this channel like basically every video but he said to me like because he watches my videos a lot he was like Renee you really at the beginning of a video you always like bring out so much stuff and then you end up not using half of it and it's kind of funny when I look back while editing my videos I noticed that he's completely right but I do that with a purpose because I purposefully bring out like everything and every supply that I think I could use because normally when I start a video or when I prepare a video I usually have kind of a particular theme or color scheme in mind and so I kind of look within my stationary collection for things that remind me of that particular theme and or could go with the particular theme that I have in mind and so I bring out everything that has to do with that theme and I want to have everything available and ready uh, in case I need it because even though I have kind of a general idea in mind I always kind of let my inspiration lead me where it wants to go if that makes sense so in the end I always end up with a different result from what I like had in mind detail wise because the details is, is when I kind of stray away from the idea sometimes but I when I feel like adding more stuff it's it's nice to know that I already have it like in front of me and when I see stuff that I can use um, it's easier to find it because it's already in front of me. But let's start with the back cover. And as you know, I always do a back cover, even though we don't really look at the back covers of our journals, at least I don't. Um, I still wanted to decorate it because it always feels so empty when I don't decorate my my uh, back cover. And I I just have a thing for decorating everything. I, I don't want to risk leaving anything empty. I am very heavy on the elaborate kind of collaging style and I really wanted to go all out. So I did go with the same kind of color scheme which is kind of within the brown colors, muted red tones, muted green tones and kind of a black and white theme because I really like that on the front cover, so I wanted to incorporate that into the back cover as well. But for the back cover, I had a lot more trouble with choosing the different pictures that I wanted to use. When I first started with my back cover, I kind of had the same idea in mind for, like I did with the front cover, which is kind of using one big picture 
as kind of a centerpiece, but that idea went out of the window very quickly. <laughs> and I just decided to add on and add on and change things up where I felt like I needed things to be different. And that's basically the most fun part for me, just figuring out as I go with journaling. I really like that part. Then it's time to clear my desk a little bit. And just like I did with the front cover, I wanted to add some inspirational words, stickers on the back as well. And here I went for explore, discover, and create, which kind of suits me in a way. And that is the end result and time to put them into my journal. I think that, and I keep saying that with every front and back cover that I make, but this one is definitely one of my favorites, even though it's out of my comfort zone, like color wise, I really, really, really like how it turned out. It's, it really has a soothing vibe for me, which is just what I need during winter. And it, it makes me feel really cozy and I can't wait to fill up this journal with all the things that happen in my daily life. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked this video. Stay hydrated, stay tuned, and until my next video, Bye.